the best gift that you can give your child is a healthy self esteem Hi my name is Kamal Neet Singh and I'm a teenage mindset coach now talking about gifts I have one for you yes I have one for you this is this is for you not that this is only a gift there is a huge lesson that comes with this gift now this is a whiteboard marker now as the name says it's a whiteboard marker I am free to write all the words that I choose to write on the whiteboard and by any chance if I don't like those words since it's a whiteboard marker and it's temporary I can always erase the words and at the same time talking about a gift which you can give to your child and it's not the right word marker i'm referring to something which is a healthy self esteem healthy self esteem is the best gift that you as a parent can give it to your child now a lot of times referring to this example we write something on the whiteboard and we don't like it we erase it in case of self esteem when you say something to your child that does not work like a whiteboard marker things that you probably say to them which are not in support of who they are those words get written on their mind and they are very permanent in nature unlike this whiteboard marker erasing those words become very very difficult and for your child to be successful and happy in the real life i can promise you one thing self esteem is a critical component for your child to be really happy and successful and i'm going to talk about three mistakes that a lot of parents make unconsciously i know that your intention is not to hurt them but these three mistakes when they happen they kind of hurt their self esteem in a way that you cannot erase it number 1 you know when you i i call it the neighbor syndrome the neighbor syndrome when you compare your child with your neighbor's son or daughter beta you know what usko dekho usne kya kya kiya hai beta uske marks dekho beta uski height dekho tum to chote reh gaye ho beta wo dekho kitna aage hai sports mein when you do that comparison your child's self esteem is going down and that's true number 2 when you actually tell your child when you make him little by telling him that beta i know that your intention is good but when you make him little by saying words like beta bahut dhakke khane padte hain paise aise nahi kamaye jate bahut mehnat lagti hai agar tum padhai nahi karoge to tumhe bahut dhakke khane padenge this is one of a very common statement which is being made by parents to their kids and i know the intention is great but these words they get imprinted on their mind ki hame dhakke khane padenge and somewhere inside their self esteem goes down number 3 this is a trust factor when your language makes them feel that you do not trust in them you do not have your trust in them their self esteem gets shaken like anything so remember these three things comparison using words to belittle them and trust these three things can really hamper a child's self esteem and i know you remember this any time and every time you are about to say something to your child think of a whiteboard marker and think of your words give your child the best gift which is a healthy self esteem thank you